All right, guys. I want you guys to know that you will. So when you take your final, you're going to be giving me your journal at the end, and the journal is going to count as a test grade. So make sure it's there. Make sure nothing's missing. You follow me? To be honest with you, I'm probably going to have you turn in your journal on Monday of next week. Does that make sense? Because I'm not grading them over the weekend. So if you notice something from the table of contents that you don't have, you might want to ask for it, okay? All right. So this, you're just going to store it. Where would body language go? Verbal, nonverbal? Put it there. Where would tone go? Put it there. Where would volume go? Put it there. Eye contact? Good. What about how close you stand? What about word choice? Okay. Okay. Do you guys know what contributing, collaborating, and call means? You're, you're giving something in, yes. Yep, working together. And what's call? Yeah, keeping yourself under control. Absolutely. Okay, I just want to do a couple quick examples on this. If you are, let's say you're working in a group project and you're getting along with everybody, but nobody's getting any work done. What do you guys need to start doing? Co contribute, call, or collaborating. Which one? I would take either of those. What if you were at a job and your manager is being rude to you? What do you need? Calm. calm. What if you got a customer throwing a fit at you? Calm. Don't box them. You need to be calm, right? What if you're working on a group project and you're the only one who's doing it? You're not letting anybody else participate. What do you need to do? You need to collaborate. You follow me? Okay. Do we know the difference between illegal and unethical? You're done. Illegal is law. Unethical is just wrong. Okay, so something is if something is wrong. Can companies, if if a company makes a false advertisement, like it, it let's say, I have this miracle pill. If you take it, it will cure everything you've ever had. You'll have no diseases left anymore. Is that illegal or is it just wrong? It's illegal. They're bound by their advertisements. Lying on your resume, is it illegal or wrong? Just wrong. Overcharging for life-saving medicine. They're allowed to, but that's you're a horrible company. Yep. Not honoring a contract. Illegal. A contract is a legally binding document. So when you're writing quotes and things for your customers, make sure you have fine print on there that says how long that price is good for because if the cost of materials goes up, you're going to be losing money. What about making people feel bad for taking their vacation time? Yep, it's wrong. It's not illegal, but it's wrong. When you're ready, go ahead and open to the inside. Do you guys remember these formulas? Hey, you guys, when do I use the rule of 72? 
When when do I use this big equation and when do I use this equation? Do you want me to give you multiple choice so you can pick? Okay, which one's going to be an estimate? Which one's going to be exact? So this is for your estimate. And it's always for doubling. This one is for exact. And I'll give you a calculator. I'll link a calculator that we've used before so that you're not having to do that by hand, okay? Now for the rule of 72, it's always going to be 72 either divided by time or your rate. Those are your choices, but it's always 72 on top. Now I gave you two examples of what the rule of 72 could look like. It's going to be 72. What interest rate would I need to double my money? Notice it didn't give, did it give me a principal. Did it tell me how much I'm starting with? No, that didn't tell me how much money I'm starting with, though, did it? Did it tell me my interest rate? Yeah. Does it tell me my finishing amount? Uh, guys, I'm asking you yes, no questions, and you're saying other crap. Does it tell me my starting amount? Does it tell you your interest rate? Does it tell you how many times it's compounded? Does it tell you your finishing amount? That's four things that it didn't tell you. You can't do the exact equation if you're missing your principal, your amount, your uh, rate, and your... Uh, Compound time. So you have to do 72. So it's just 72 divided by what? 72 divided by 4 or 72 divided by 8? Which one is it? Get you a number. What did you guys get? Good. So it's going to be 18 what? Nope. It's a rate, so it's going to be percent. We want to know what the rate would be, right? Okay. What if I had 8% interest? What goes on top? What goes on top? Thank you. What goes on the bottom? What's it equal? All right. Do you guys remember what A stands for, what P stands for, what R and T stands for? I'm not going to write it down, but I don't mind saying it out loud. What does A mean? Amount. What does P mean? Principal, which is your starting amount. What's R? Your interest rate, yeah. What's N? How many times is compounded? And is how many times is compounded in a period? So like monthly, annually, yearly, semi-annually, weekly, daily, continuously. Okay, what's T? Good. T is time. Amount. It's the ending amount or your total. So N is how many times compounded? Yep, N is how many times is compounded. So it could tell you it's every day, every month, every whatever. All right, guys, that 200, if I invest 200 at 2% compounded weekly, how long will it take to double? Okay, so let's break this down. Where's the 200 going to go? I disagree. What's the 200 going to be? It's not the A. It's your principal. It's your starting amount. Okay, where's the 2% going to go? What's going to be N? 52, because there's 52 weeks in a year. 
And we want to know how long it's going to take to double the money. If we double the money, what information does that give us? Is it, does that give us the amount or the time? The amount. So we know we want to look for it at 400. Now, if you can do this. Good job. Okay, so then I gave you, I'll give you a link to the calculator. I'll give you this link. What are we looking for, guys? We wanted to calculate time. How much, uh, how much did we end up with? How much did we start with? What's our rate? How often is it compounded? Okay, yep. And you're gonna say calculate. And then it's gonna tell you 34 years, eight months. That's because it's a crappy interest rate. Thirty-four years, eight months. See how it tells you how many months? Can I move the calculator out the way? Okay. Can you guys get this one set up? Do you remember doing all this? Quarterly means four times in a year. You just put four. Are we ready? Okay. What was our starting amount? What's our principal? What's our ending amount? What's our interest rate? What's our N? Do we know our T? We do not. So we're going to just grab this calculator. Is it okay if I just do it and tell you the answer? Okay. Because I don't really feel like dragging the calculator back and forth. And this is supposed to be quarterly, right? All right, did we, well, I tried to bring it over here. Does that look right to you guys? Did I put in the right thing? Total, principal, does that all look good? Okay, then the answer is gonna be five years, five months. I think five years, five months is more meaningful than 5.4 years, would you guys agree? 5.4 years, you know exactly when that's going to be? Yeah. All right, when you're ready, you guys should know when to use all of these. You should actually already have this on your page 7. Okay, so you guys should have this here. Pretty much. And then right here, guys. Hold on. The check, guys. Do you guys know how to write a check? Yeah. It says, fill out the check as if you bought a TV from Walmart. Make up a reasonable price. What's a reasonable price for a TV? A dollar? Two million? Okay. What goes here? My name. What goes here? Okay, can we just say that this is check 201? Who are we going to pay it to? Uh, Walmart. Good. Okay. 
Okay, I am purposely not going to give you the amount here. You need to write it out in dollars and words here. What are we buying? And then I'm okay with you doing my name instead of a real signature because I don't want your real signature somewhere people could steal it and uh, you know what I'm saying? I I'm fine with you not putting your real name right there. That's fine. This would actually have your name printed. It would have your whole name printed. Now you guys need to fill in. Sure. Make sure you fill this in. Okay, make sure you guys fill in those yellow boxes. And when you're done with that, you're gonna swing by my desk and show me.